I know it's 2014 now, but uh, I think this movie that I'm going to review for you right now will be the last movie that I'm going to review for 2013. Um, I think every movie that I see after this, I'm going to consider a 2014 film, if it's a new movie, of course. The film that I saw tonight is the film that uh, was released a little bit in uh, 2013, I believe, to get some Oscar consideration. And uh, it's now being released wide, and it was a huge hit over the weekend. It is called Lone Survivor, and it stars Mark Wahlberg, Emil Hirsch, Tyler Knish, Eric Bana, Ben Foster, and uh, I, th I think that's all that I recognized from the major stars that were in this movie. There, it's a big cast. There's a lot of people in this film. I was very excited to see this movie. I'm a big fan of Peter Berg and his great directing, you know, with movies like The Rundown and uh, Friday Night Lights is one of the best sports movies I've ever seen. Uh, it wasn't a good year for him in 2012, um, but that's okay. He's still a great director in my eyes, and I was really looking forward to his new film. It was a surprise. Uh, this film kind of came out of nowhere in my, my eyes. I, I didn't hear about this film, I believe, until like October or September. There were some ads for it, and uh, it looked very, very interesting. I wasn't aware of this story. This story is completely new to me. I just don't watch the news very much. I kind of stay out of it because it's nothing's, you know, there's, the, the news just doesn't really ever put out anything positive and it's always so negative and it's just a lot of bad things going on in the world and, and it's just hard to, to try and stay positive when a lot of negative things are going on so I'm not really aware of this story uh, it's going into this movie of course but now that I've seen the film, the film is a, is a true story, it's a true story about four brave human beings braver than just, just, just brave. Just extremely brave. And uh, all I can say is I'm, I'm very grateful to, to witness this film. I'm grateful that it got made. Uh, it's, it's a powerful film, and it's a tough film to, to talk about on camera because it's so real. It's real. Yes, it's a movie. Yes, it's entertaining and it's enlightening. But it's a real movie. It's, it's telling. I'm saying it's, a, it's a real movie about real people that that lived and died. Of course, it says lone survivors, so we know that someone survived this situation. It, it, the story is centered in Afghanistan in 2005 with the brave men who are serving our country and served our country. And, and again, I didn't know much about the story at all. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of slack and, and everything for almost crying on camera. I'm trying to hold back my emotions. Um, it's just hard to talk about a movie like this and be so like, oh my gosh, it's so entertaining and it's so well put together and directing's great and the music's great and the acting's tremendous. It was a movie that for me, uh, I, the first 40 minutes I was like, where is this really going? I mean, I know it's going to start happening soon and we're going to get into this story, but when all the things started to come down and the real action of this film started, that's when the movie just started to just, it, it turned on me and it was just like, I think I'm witnessing one of the greatest war films ever made. It's going to go down in history as one of the great modern war films like Black Hawk Down and Saving Private Ryan. These movies, of course, were made in the last few years, and there's probably some that I'm missing right now, but I think this film will go in history as one of the greatest films ever made. Greatest war movies ever made, I should say. But a movie that is just emotionally raw. And it's just it's it, it's so hard to talk about it because there are things in this film that... You know, I was kind of worried because I had seen the trailer to the movie and I was like, I don't want anything being taken away. I know there was actually a trailer that I saw that incorporated the real uh, survivor of the story. And I was like, I don't want to know anything about this. I want to go in this blind. So I thought that would, that would be really hard to uh, enjoy the film having known everything about it. And there was surprise after surprise after surprise uh, from this story. And, and I, I believe that Peter Berg and his great team did a great job at getting, trying to be as true to this story as possible. Uh, you know, on a technical level, this is a flawless film. It's an amazing film. Uh, I want to get down to the makeup by Greg Nicotero. I don't know if he's ever been nominated for an Oscar, but the makeup in the makeup in this movie is incredible and just shows uh, why Greg Nicotero and uh, Howard Berger, I think his name is, are some of the greatest makeup artists working today. I know they're working on The Walking Dead right now. But, you know, everything is just, it, it came together so amazing, and I, I forgot I was watching a movie. Uh, this movie just made me feel so happy in the sense that I'm, I'm happy and grateful for the men and women who go and serve. I don't think I'm brave enough to do that, and, 
you know, it makes me like every time I, I, I see someone who is in the military and serving and walking around in their suit, I just want to thank them for their service, thank them for uh, the things that they do. Because uh, I, I, it make, it, we have, you know, we have freedom here in America, and I'm grateful for that. I mean, America is not a perfect country. We have a lot of problems. The world has a lot of problems. But it is seeing a movie like this. It just reaffirms my faith in uh, in America and the power of the human spirit and the power of human beings coming together and trying to make this world a better place when people are trying to crash it down. Anyways, I'm trying not to get too emotional, but this is an important film, and it's a movie that everybody should see. It's rated R. It's violent. It's, uh... It's not an easy movie to watch. Um, of course, young kids maybe you probably shouldn't see it, but I would definitely show it to preteens to just show, hey, life is hard. Especially when you're a teenager. Life is hard. You're going through a lot of crap. But just be grateful for the people that go out and risk their lives for your freedom. So, this is a great film. Uh, I hope, you know, you know, award season is coming up. We're getting the Oscar nomination soon. And I hope uh, this movie gets some consideration. I think the direction by Peter Berg is exceptional. The action, it's all intense from beginning to end. It just made me appreciate the sacrifices. Um... I apologize for getting a little emotional on you, and uh, hopefully you won't be too hard on me. If you dislike this video because I'm crying like a little girl, so be it. In the end, I don't care, because uh, this is just how I... This is the raw feelings that I have about this movie. It's a great film. It's a great war movie. It's going to be remembered forever. And uh, I'm glad that uh, there is a lone survivor that survived this to tell the story. And uh, bad things are happening, you know, even today. But uh, hopefully this movie can be a reminder that there is hope. That there is uh, something to, you know, root for, something to get excited about, something to be... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but just something... Uh, something that life is important. And to just be grateful for every day that you have on this earth. Because it could be all taken away. Alright, um, thank you so much for watching my review. Thank you so much for watching me in 2013. Um, I really love doing this, love seeing movies like this. I love to be emotionally distraught after watching a movie, especially after watching a movie like this. I'm glad it was handled so beautifully, so well by the cast and crew of this film. Everybody deserves to, uh, you know, deserves, you know, our love and affection, I guess you could say. But, uh, you know, you know, when you see someone maybe in the military you know somebody just I think I'm gonna be more aware of the men and women who are serving and just be grateful for their sacrifice I know I'm repeating myself I apologize this movie is one of the best films of the year and it's gonna to be tough to figure out my top 20 films but this will definitely Lone, Lone Survivor will definitely be in my top 20 of 2013 I'm going to give the film four stars out of four. It's a great film and definitely worth your time. And I'm glad it's a big hit and people are seeing it. It's an important film. I just hope people will see it and enjoy it. There's there's definitely um, some humor in the film. It does give it a human element to it. And that's really grateful. You want that kind of stuff when you see a movie like this. You want that human element. Because, you know, we all try and... We need that we need that humor and human we need that laughter with the drama to uh, balance it out and it's done beautifully in this film so go check out Lone Survivor you probably already have uh, thank you for your thank you for your time and watching my video and uh, if you don't hit that dislike button I thank you even more <laughs> I apologize again for getting a little emotional but uh, just this is just how I'm feeling so I wanted to get it on camera. I'm Movie Man Chad. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And please go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association on Facebook and Twitter. Please like and follow them on Twitter. It's a great association to be a part of. Please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this review. And, uh, whatever. Um, if you enjoyed this review, please subscribe. I'd, I definitely would really appreciate it. Not whatever. I apologize for saying whatever. That's not how I feel.
Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon on my next review, 2014. Hopefully it's going to get better. <laughs> we haven't had some good movies, but uh, I, it's going to get so much better. And uh, I don't know who won the, Osc uh, the Golden Globes, so I'm going to go find out right now who won the Golden Globes. I went to the movies instead, so I'm going to go find out right now who won the Golden Globe Awards. So uh, I'm excited to see who won, and uh, even though I don't really care about the Golden Globes, I'm, I'm more, if I care about any award show, it's the Oscars. If it's not the Oscars, I just don't care. So I'm excited to go see who won, and uh, I'm very excited for the nominations. Again, I'm sorry for this review that it's long, but I, I, I'm really grateful for you sticking around and watching it. Thank you so much, and peace on Earth, my friends.